Hello, it's Alan here from Navit Home Australia, and today we're just going to go through an easy to remember mnemonic that will help with remembering the formula on applying east and west conversions between true, magnetic, and compass bearings. Mistakes in your conversion calculations between the different heading types are really easy to make, but they can have a big impact and can put yourself, your crew, and your boat potentially at risk. It is worth taking the time getting comfortable with the process and figuring out a method that works for you and how to remember it. What we often see in our training programs is that people are usually pretty comfortable with remembering the order of the conversion process, but it is the mathematics of whether to add or subtract the compensation value that causes the most trouble initially. From a true bearing, we compensate for variation to get magnetic, then compensate for deviation to get a compass value. We apply the reverse process when going from compass to true. And logically this makes sense to a lot of people as deviation is a local effect specific to the vessel, and variation is a broad impact for the entire area. But in order to deal with the compensation, should we add east and subtract west, or is it the other way? Well the truth is it depends on the conversion process we are doing, and this is where it gets confusing. To help with remembering the correct approach, we find the mnemonic cadet is very useful. When doing a conversion of a compass or magnetic bearing to a true bearing, then cadet translates to from compass add east to get true. As west is the opposite to east, then you would have to subtract westerly variation and deviation. At this point, all you now need to remember is that when going from true to compass bearings, you just have to do the exact opposite. From true to compass, add west and subtract east. It's as easy as that. So I hope you have found that useful, and if you haven't looked at our website before, come check it out at navathome.com.au.